ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Historic American Building Survey number six. And I see you came up with a name all on your own, did you, Jenkins? Highly unlikely, highly unlikely. Another beautiful, ornate building here. Although, things seem to be on the downswing. This is an insurance company, of course it is. And here we go, plodding along, plodding along the rotten streets of Pennsylvania. Where things tell two different tales, as if there are two different worlds. And indeed, there might as well be. I mean, for every classic American porch, there are certain mysteries, and also certain crafts, we should say. Or skill sets, or symbols. Signs of something more, something different than the world that is on the platter that we are served. Well, I phrase that's funny. You know what I mean. As ludicrous as a bakery needing such a large smokestack. As ludicrous as something with so many windows, just looking sort of purposeless, really. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Allegedly, it's a carpet mill. Um, and you have to assume that these doors here, were so they can back up trucks and lower sort of these conveyor belts and load product from the various store levels. But one almost wonders as if that wasn't just an idea that came later. Because the building was already there. I don't know. Reckless speculation. Again, that's what we do here. We wonder about things. We ponder the unponderables, such as this. And, you know, this. And already, somehow, just by merely going through these pictures and pointing things out, I've seemed to have attracted some detractors of the robotic type. The shills, or the mindless henchmen that serve the invaders. So I'm not certain how much longer this platform will tolerate the mere pointing out of things, the mere questioning of the narrative. Who knows? But I will have to set up a, a separate account on a different platform. That's what it looks like to me anyways. I see the writing on the wall. And what an incredible building. Man, this is the Ellison Sons building, whatever that may be. Philadelphia, I'm sorry, Pennsylvania, just simply full of things like that. And then you get this, this amazing old world clock tower. Just, you know, out of nowhere. It looks like something out of a, uh, it's a small world. <sighs> and then back to classic American style homestead, which has nothing suspicious about it at all. It's like a tale of two different cities, a tale of two different timelines. That's what it appears to me. Who knows? Maybe more. Maybe it's like the uh, gerbil cage that, you know, new gerbils get introduced to it. Things get jumbled around and then they, you know, or a fish tank. I don't know. Not necessarily the type of effort one factory outlet puts into their buildings, usually. That looks more normal. If we're talking about early America, sure, I'm for it. Quite right. Good idea. Everything looks just like it should. Even this, while there are some certain questions, like why there's a window sill two feet off the ground, that, you know, that, 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 that may appear normal. Maybe some people like that sort of thing. But the stacked slabs entering the home seems a bit out of place, especially uh, such a beautiful home as this in such pristine condition and oh my god what is it with pennsylvania and leaving weird babies outside this is like the little prophet check like where the black sun for it comes to you in the night it little creepy little and that looking very out of place like a wedding cake on the bread aisle john schoenberger house we're told back to classic america back to Classic Pennsylvania. And that is the Pennsylvania that I've come to know so well through these surveys. Yeah, quite right. Looking like 40 miles of bad road. And what a strange array. I mean, here in the one property, you've got a normal seeming sort of brick structure. Very out of place seeming Roman columns here. And then a third one here that's just made of wood, as you can tell from the splintering. And then, who knows what's going on down there. And the wooden staircase, just this whole porch seeming like it's just sort of added on. I mean, just what a weird structure, man. And then back to normal. Back to normal block-style home. Nothing peculiar here. The land looking a bit tumultuous back there. And very <clears throat> sloping and strangely uneven all over the place. What a waste of craftsmanship to put this on such a, what ended up being a dump. $2 to park. That's a deal anywhere. And this looking like the scene of a creepy Dickens uh, novel, where like orphans get where roaming gangs of banded orphans may live. Back to classic America. Nothing to see here, folks. The old white picket fence. And then the strange, ornate decorum. 
That's a hell of a cellar door. Almost taller than the doorway? What sort of weird place is this? You can't tell me these buildings don't look like they've just been sunken in. Or they just lifted the road up. It's a good six feet or something and ran alongside these windows. I mean, I don't know. Can't think of why they would do that, but they they might have. Hold on a second here. Carnegie. Oh, not to be trusted. Freaking crook. Yeah, boss, I got an idea. We'll put a sign out that says oysters and clams right by the trap door. Then when they come up and they fall in, we got them. What about the women? Oh, for them, we'll just make the same trap by simple use sewing machines. You're an idiot. You're fired. <gasps> Back to classic Americana. Classic-ish Americana. No denying the gorgeous nature of many of these homes. And there's the little rustic one, looking like the home of a small woodworking wizard who's sort of retired into the countryside. And this is some odd elevation here. And you wonder if they constructed this barn into the side of the hilltop here, or did at one point the ground swell, or this seemed to be dug out and moved aside. I don't know. And what is the point of this, by the way? This is a farm, obviously. I don't know the point of this up here. I'm sure it had a function at one point. I wonder if anyone can tell me. Here we are with another weird lime kiln in the middle of nowhere. Actually, I don't know if it's in the middle of nowhere, but it, oh, it would appear to be. And even that, looking like a strange way to construct that. Unless, of course, the land was shifted at some point. And again, actually, we've seen that one before. Or if not, we've seen its double And I'm sure there's a reason for this. Though it escapes me. Mind your own business. Quit worrying about the basement windows. If you don't understand it, then I guess you'll never will. Or no. I do understand it. These are casts, actually casting molds. Oh yeah, the old Johnson's Middle Bridge. Lengths up to two miles, two miles of a bridge like this? The uh, structure is highly indeterminate, practically impossible to analyze. That makes no sense. Why would it be any different? As far as analytically. Another one of those railroad buildings that they built and abandoned. The world's steepest vehicular inclined plane. I don't know, man. I think you guys are just saying that. Did you really go ask everywhere in the world, I mean? You know, it seems like a bold statement. Also seems like a terrifying thing to be on. Whether it's full of coal or not. Whatever the hell it's doing. It's like a roller coaster. And this here would be the uh, church. Oh, wait, no. This is the railway company powerhouse. Imagine that. A powerhouse. This. I would have thought this would have been a church. Any visit better for us, I. Yeah, looking like a power station, of course. Called a power station. Hmm. I wonder if this means that other churches are in actual power stations, too. I wonder. I wonder. Shall we go into the front door, Grandma? No, that door's for the hobbits. Come upstairs. Great angle on that. What, they wouldn't let you get any closer than that, or what? And there we go. The puffy, bricked, full-prong Episcopal Church. Now, actually, this might be the same one, just in color. It might be. Either way, I'm grateful for it. I'd like to point out the black and white checkered spots here. The massive doorway, the doors within a door, the doorception. And the fact that, actually, it's kind of occurring to me that, you know, they say the pyramids are sort of these energy harvesting devices or power stations, you know, sort of channel energy down. And I wonder if all castles or towers or steeples used to have these. Because I've often seen the, the inverse is being true, that sometimes these towers would have steeples added to them as a church sort of took over the old building. But it could be the other way around. Hmm. Something to ponder. And that just looking so at odds with the rest of uh, the countryside around it. Looking like an otherworldly fairy castle. Versus this. Buh. Buh. And houses like this would make sense if they didn't have basements. It'd be like, sure, they just built it a little bit elevated from the street. For safety or for whatever reason. But then it's like, yeah, but there's a basement that goes down. And then it just becomes a little baffling. It's like, well, from whence did the earth come? And the majority of these buildings are no longer with us. Which is why. Grateful grateful for these. Yeah, we built these houses and then we put a bunch of dirt in between them. The long and winding road that leads up to the farm. And here's what you'll be saying. Good night, children. <gasps> that little hideaway, you yeah. know. 1976 was when they did this survey here. With this little creek. Structure of the Blue Marsh Lake effort. So let me get this straight. 1976, you have this historic survey. What they find is that this farm was located here, and it uh, had a dairy, it had a grist mill, a powder mill, and a canal warehouse. And uh, the farm is located on the canal, which operated between 1824 and 1884. Yet. The barn was built in 1850 and enlarged in 1880. The original stone house, however, was predated the canal even by nine years. Then the mill and warehouse were 
built in the 1930s, along with six bungalows. And then one year after this site was recorded, everything was demolished. Just wanted to make sure I understood that correctly. Children write it down, then destroy it. A root house. That's a hell of a doorway. Look at that bad boy. And many brick buildings are found in Pennsylvania. Ay ay ay. So many foundational problems, it makes no sense to me. I tried to wrap my brain around it, but it makes no sense. Eh? Why? 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 And why? And what has become of all of these structures? Why are they in such piss poor shape? This one's not so bad. Actually, nice staircase there. All right. What do we got here? Inside Judge Parson's mansion, eh? Eh, Judge Parson with a little naked lady book and a eh? little risque for a judge, don't you think? These old cars are so dope. This one looks like a scheming catfish. Yeah. So I see you discovered my nefarious hideout, eh? Yeah. Come on in through the big door. Just kidding. <laughs> right down there, dude. These are just for, uh, I don't know, whatever. In case the tall people come over. And these are for in case a lot of tall people come over. Pretending like he's working. You ain't fucking working. And that's how you know you're in Pennsylvania. No window shall be detached. Everywhere you go, at least one window needs to be smashed. It's a calling card. It's by that which we know whose team you ran. It's sort of like one if by land, two if by sea sort of thing. And the row of white ghouls surrendered, sticking their hands up in the air. And if you have no imagination, uh, I'm so sure that made no sense. Many all roads lead to the old switchy station here. That's super cool. And yeah, that looks totally normal. Some of these doors are, it's hilarious. Some of these doors you wouldn't be able to open, looks like. I mean, come on, man. There's just no way that these buildings were built like this. Every single building is built like this? I, I, there's no way. I don't know how anyone could deny it at this point. Oh, wow. That is dope. That fancy little executive's house, it says. Well, haven't you got yourself a nice little Hansel and Gretel little uh, candy village in there? A candy house, as it were. This is that same one from another angle. How cool. Kind of jealous of this guy. Whoa. This is just an amazing little property. So you see, depending on the upkeep, uh, they don't have to look like shit. This one looking like it's still got some of the old world tech up there. How cool is that? What a sweet property. Not gonna lie, a little jealous. A little jealous of this executive's house. That must be like a separate garage or something. A separate little, or is this all, uh, all part of the property? A little village, a candy village. Aha, uh -huh. now we get to this style of building here, which you see all the time. I see them as garages, I see them as uh, little outposts, trading posts, and they have this sort of blocky, robotic sort of look to them. But they're unmistakable. Not really the shape that a local deli usually strives for. The old useless ornament, I'm sure. If you believe the narrative, the old phoenix up here. All the markings, yes, here you are, see? The railway, the metal railway, the conductor of electricity, the lightning rod. And again, up here, with that same little shape, which you're going to see everywhere, everywhere in the old world. And they'll tell you what, people just loved that shape. They couldn't think of any other type of way to ornament their house. They had to use this shape. They had to use a chalice like that. They had to use a little globe like this. No one can believe such things unless they truly don't want to know. Scared of the lie. I say embrace the lie. The sooner you embrace it, the sooner you can accept mystery, then the sooner you can believe in magic. Kennedy Mansion, huh? I wonder which Kennedy. And mm -hmm, this, of course, the Kensington National Bank, looking exactly as I would expect a bank to look in the early 1900s. Now, this photograph's taken much later, obviously, in the 50s, but this is clearly not something from this world. I mean, even their che their cheesy attempt to sort of make the like, old world looking font just looks terrible compared to the rest of this. And I'm sure in its heyday, it looked even more amazing. God. This tacky sign stuck on the side of it. Yeah, it matches so well. Even this, like, granite inlay looks stupid. This was something else entirely. I mean, it looks like a power generator or like a, a uh, an air conditioner with these vents, these grills. It does not look like a bank. And here you go. This is the classic Pennsylvania here. You got this lovely, delicate, Victorian-looking structure with this little uh, shape everyone loves. And next to this dump. Homes of the Pensy Pops. <laughs> Not sure what a pensy pops is. And, um, <clears throat> it's, uh, flanked by these very phallic looking towers here. I, I would hope that they've served some function. If not, um, you have a 
perverse sense of humor, Mr. Architect. Yeah, put, yeah, put that pipe anywhere. Erected 1690, enlarged 1738. Are we talking about these as being erected and enlarged, or... I'm a little confused. Uh, you have to clarify, please. Ooh, what happened to your neighbor? And look at that lovely sign. What does that say? Palmer's Candles? Well, if Palmer, if that's the effort that you put into selling candles, as much as you put into that sign, it's no wonder your building looks like a third world landfill. Oh, Palmer's Candies! There it is, look at it from a front view and, and possibly... Look at that, that's amazing. The trickeries of real estate. Like, look at this. Palmer's Candies. This is what the building looks like. It's for rent, and, uh, uh, yeah, there's, you know, it looks, uh, and it's like, but from this angle, it's like, y'all didn't tell me the neighbor was fucking demolished. <laughs> oh, we didn't? Oh, I forgot to mention that? Well, we, we're not, like, a fly-by-night operation. Like, it's not like our sign is just, like, a, a blanket. I mean, like, you know, like, we are, like, a real deal thing here. Mmm, Mills Bridge. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that, that's all about there. Wow. And I'm sure, look at that. Amazing, old world, incredible building. And what is going on here? Seriously. Like, I didn't realize that Pennsylvania was struck with a, a large-scale detonation. I didn't know. I mean, when did this happen, I wonder? Oh, look, a glory hole for a narwhal? Sorry, that was a little, uh, crude. We'll take that out. We'll, we'll take that one out, okay? We'll fix it in post. The King of Prussia? <laughs> I don't get it. Why is it in all quotes? The King of Prussia Inn? There it is, George's Hotel. Look at all those shifty men on the front porch. No, ma'am. I think I'll be staying somewhere else. King or no king? Oh, here's the King's Bridge. The same King of Prussia? Hard to say. Is this a bridge? Uh, it's also hard to say. King's Bakers. That's a hell of a building. Damn. That is super cool. I don't know what's going on down here, but... Nor do I know what's going on here. Ricky, are you under there? We're coming to get you. <laughs> they don't even know I'm over here, dude. Do something here. Classic Americana. The Knickerbocker. The Knickerbocker Row House Complex. And not sure what this building is or what any of that means, but a lot of bricks. The Brickerbocker. And the leaning, um, never mind. Cool antennas, though, bro. Hey, <laughs> I... I have no comment here. And an outdoor bake oven. Pennsylvania is one confusing ass place. I mean, I don't know what I expected, but to see so many what seems like different eras of construction and life. I mean, these bridges alone, it's just a strange, strange place. From this rustic sort of smokehouse stuff to these classic American homes that just look like a regular frame house to these sort of old world abandoned castles. And we're supposed to just act as if, uh, you know, these are, these is a mill and it's, it's just, it's totally normal to abandon stuff like this. And yeah, this is, this is, this is absolutely normal to just have a, a land lighthouse here. This is called the land lighthouse. And this is, this is normal. Just have a lighthouse here, huh? Like this. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and then not even to mention the, I mean, we haven't even touched on the interior of this place. Like, look at that. That is absolutely ridiculous. To think that this is from the same era and the same people as what built this. That not even in the same world. Like, this is like Narnia land. And then on top of that, you're going to make all this ridiculous, this, this looking like a temple in India. And you're going to top it off with a massive statue. I mean, it's just unfathomable. Not to mention this alone. And of course, it's a banking company. Because that's who really rules the world. Here, this would normally be an outstanding awe-inspiring mansion in normal America. This would be a massive barn structure in the normal world. And then here, just this old dumpy warehouse. Same era. Nothing to see here. Yep. Same people. And uh, of course, no old world city would be the same, complete without its old world cemetery. Which I have my own theories about. And I'll save them for another time then. Ooh, and here you are. The entrance to the cemetery, right? Of course, because it had to be so grand. Naturally. And here is a... What we're being told is a quarry. Uh, uh-huh. A quarry, huh? Not a, uh... Not a wall or a structure that you've slowly taken apart, huh? It's a quarry. Not that this mound here was some sort of a fallen structure or anything. Right? A quarry. Okay. Yes, exactly how I would have built this house. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is your typical, uh, this is your typical, um, cow or horse, uh, fencing. It might look a bit fancy because the, the, uh, the animals appreciate that. It's not like we took it from somewhere else or it once had a different purpose or anything like that. It's just what the cows prefer, damn it. It's pretty glorious wrought iron work, which you'll see lots of that in these surveys. Uh, of course. And, uh, just looking like... Oh, of course, the Lee Tire and Rubber Company. And, of course, this is, uh, this is typical for a tire company to have a castle tower to uh, retreat to, should the Mongol hordes ever show up, or should maybe they have a princess daughter they want to confide in the upper level of. Every tire and rubber store that, that I know of, personally, needs a tower like this. It's, uh, it's logical. And you can see it blends so well with the adjoining buildings. And, wow, it just keeps getting better and better. The orb shape, the shape here, the orb here, the... This is just universally loved and acknowledged by people all over the world. And I hope that my extreme sarcasm is being understood. Meaning, I hope you understand that I do not believe that these things were purposeless. I don't believe any of this is what they claim. I mean, these canals alone, the manpower and the ability to construct all of them in the time they claim they did, only to rough abandon them 20 years later, is, is outrageous. It's impossible. It's, it's physically impossible. And when you look out over Pennsylvania, it's just, to me... I just see another, I see glimpses of a bygone era of people, a bygone society with so many secrets in these hills. And they have done their best to take as many pictures and take a survey as much as possible so that they can learn from it and steal some of the ideas or whatever it is. And then also destroy it as quickly as possible because they know that it's ludicrous to think that early Americans built this, all this. P towering, piling bricks up like this and smokestacks like this. How dangerous. Getting all the way up here on little scaffolds. No power tools. Bringing mortar up there and trowels and bringing bricks up there. You know, over and over and over and over again. And then for stuff that you're just going to abandon. It makes no sense. And yet everywhere you look, there is signs of prior construction. Things that do not make sense styles that they shouldn't have the amount of bridges alone is baffling i do believe that they created the steel parts yes i do not believe that these bases were created by them all of these buildings just fucked up abandoned boarded up and then in the background you have that it makes no sense i mean i just it the amount of preposterous mismatched narrative and photographical evidence. It is just ludicrous. It's overwhelming. And I cannot be alone in thinking that. Okay, so you made this barn, huh? What about this wall? What can you tell me about it? What about this? Top of this birthday cake looking building. With all these chalices. What's the point of all these? Ornament? What's the point of these little cupolas? And the top dome, which is missing now. Looks like there's a dome here anyway. And just too distracted, too hung up in their own world, life. Nobody wants, nobody cares. And these people that got here first and they know, they ain't telling. Why would they tell? But all these little hints and clues. And as you see, the surveys we make through the survey, I know they're disjointed because I, I organize them funny. But you'll see all these little original doorways and little original touches and pieces they wanted to know where they all were and that's what these surveys were all about and that just looks ludicrous to be in pennsylvania i mean it looks it's almost as bad as this seeing a horse and buggy along the same side as these modern cars it's almost as bad i mean it might as well be that way and there's star forts here and here's that old liberty theater that amazing little old temple but don't pay no attention to that look at this Ooh, the neon lights and, oh my god, the library company, oh yes, of course, this is what any conventional modern library should look like, it requires it, this is ridiculous, this could be the Parthenon, and it was probably built by the same people in the same era, oh, just another lime kiln, no, huh? just on the side of the road here, forget that it has the same doorways as a bunch of the other houses, oh, just another bank building here, nothing to see here, Up, oh, yep, you know, Gotta have our little phoenixes up here. Everywhere. God. This is overwhelming. Don't cuss. Call us. Terrible, uh, terrible slogan there. Lincoln Godfrey residence. Looking incredible. And back to the old farms. 
Hmm. I wonder where all this rubble came from. The world takes. Why, yes, it does. Lincoln Logs. Hell yeah, I used to love those as a kid. And another old world bridge. Okay, we're gonna rope this one off here, Wilford. That dog is that dog is looking like he's a killer. And that one overgrown with ivy. That's almost swallowed up by the forest entirely. And again. Why? Why? And from whence? This is a boathouse hidden here in the shrubbery. And that is a castle off in the distance. The Lindenwold Castle, it's called. Yep, that's right. At least they're calling it a castle. Because it is. This is the gatehouse to the castle. No different than any in Europe. The Pleasure Gardens on the same property line. And you see the sphinxes here and the lions. And yep, acting as if it's an all an homage to the old world. When really, it's probably the same exact thing. Uh, and the Lit Brothers. I have no idea how funny their store name would be 200 years later. But yeah, don't let that retarded neon sight up top distract you from the glory that is this old world building. And it looks like these little chalice things have been what, covered up in plants. Preposterous building. You can see this same style of building everywhere. Argentina, Bolivia, Lithuania. Same building, same people. Man. This one is exhausting me. Just a normal little American house until you look at the top and, oh, yeah, of course, yes, yes, of course. The, you mean the, the tower on top? All oh, right, right. Well, we just thought the Wilsons had one, so we wanted one, too. And why shouldn't we have one if we want? And this is the Logborn. Right after we got done making that tower, we set out. We here made this here tobacco shop. Yes, sir. I'm calling it Bullshit. The Lolita Recreation Area. Really? Really? Nothing suspicious here? Don't look over there. Just, just look, look at the, look at the uh, ranger station here. The office building. Isn't that nice? This is all, um, all very modern and holds no mystery. Crazy. Well, I think I've absorbed as much Pennsylvania as I can for the time being. God damn, that's a nice building. Aw, what? No flag on the flagpole? Actually, it looks like a shadow, doesn't it? <laughs> like, this looks like a pole. That looks like a shadow of a pole under a wall. That's weird. Very, very weird. Well, regardless, this is an insane building. The Loyal Order of Moose. Oh, of course. Right. Secret Society. I might have known. Well, on that note, and on these lines of Cokeworks ovens, which aren't suspicious at all, I'm going to leave you folks be. Ask for large pipe. Hi, is large pipe in today? <laughs> oh, wait, that flowers is down here. Well, whatever. And what's going on upstairs? Why are the windows being smashed out? It's, it's not smashed out. They're playing Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Truly a shocking world we live in. Oh, my God. Get the hell out of here with this. I just can't take any more. I'll see you soon. Wow. The old Linwood Hall, eh? Tiny house. Hmm. Suppose none of these bricks were part of a structure at one point. Were they? No, no, no. Couldn't be. Couldn't be. Whoa, cool entrance. Unless this is just another one of those bushes protecting people. And this is a... some sort of mine. E-mine. Okay, see? Here's this mine in the 30s. Same in the 70s. So 40 or 50 years. It looks exactly the same. Like, exactly the same. But everything else is going to just completely dissolve and crumble. Three span stone bridge built in 1840, huh? Jimmy, you look like you're sinking down in the mud there. Interesting verbiage here. This house was realized between 1959 and 52. 62. Realized, huh? What the hell does that mean? It means made real. This internationally renowned Philadelphia architect designed the house at the moment, the very moment his career began climbing up to unprecedented heights of success and influence. Yeah, whatever. Jesus. Unbelievable. Oh my god. This is the Market Street Bridge entrance. Those phoenixes on this. It's just so over the top. I, I don't know how people can't tell this is clearly from an old world. It does not not even look cl anything close to like what they have. And I think I have repeated myself enough for the day that I'm going to now look at this National Bank building in dismay. For it is truly, truly preposterous. And, uh, yeah, that'll do. Stay vigilant out there, my friends. The world is a vast and scary place. Thank you for watching. 
I hope you gleaned something from it, entertainment or education-wise, or maybe just pondering the imponderables. But either way, I, I love you for who you are, for existing, for your mind, for your spirit. Don't let them take your soul, and we will win this.